we have on the line from San Diego, California, Dr. Bernard Rimland. Doctor, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, you're the director of the Autistic Research Institute. Yes, indeed. I was reading uh, that you believe, and uh, there have been 15 published studies that show that there is a definite link between the autistic child and candida. No, no, no. Uh, there are 15 studies which uh, show that uh, high doses of vitamin B6 right. and magnesium are helpful to autistic children and adults. Uh, the the uh, studies on candida are just in their beginning stages, and there's no uh, published studies on that yet. Uh, Do, there are oh, okay. some, some published clinical reports, but no studies. Do you, uh, in your studies and research, have you found, and do you believe there is a link between candida and autistic children? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, the uh, uh, link seems to be considerably stronger than I originally thought. I gave a talk, uh, I guess it was in June, in, in, or in July, mid-July, to the uh, Autism Society of America, which had its annual convention in Los Angeles. And I was talking about various uh, forms of uh, treatment and various problems. There are about 400 people in the audience, and I mentioned the candida uh, problem. And then I said, just out of curiosity, I'm wondering how many people in this audience have autistic children who, uh, whose autism seems to have started shortly after they uh, were given a series of antibiotics for an ear infection or for some other cause. And I expect that perhaps, uh, you know, 5% or 10% of the parents to raise their hands. And about 30% raised their hands. It was just a startling, uh, uh, startling uh, display of, uh, of uh, people who thought that candida might have been a problem in their kid's case. Okay. Um, in children, uh, what happens when the children take the antibiotics? I mean, most children, all of us have kids, mine have, have taken antibiotics. Right. Um, so what should we do then if your child's had antibiotics? I mean, is give them B6 or is there some... Well, because, all, you know, all children are going to get earaches, and eventually all children, at least 90% of them, are going to end up taking antibiotics. Are you saying in order, or should we say, in order pr to prevent problems, every time a child has antibiotics, they should do... Well, uh, I, I'm a researcher and not a practitioner, so okay. I, I don't usually give a great deal of advice about, about treatment. If it were my child, yep. uh, what I would do in the first place, would uh, I would make sure they had very good nutrition, in general, which would keep them, uh, which would greatly reduce the likelihood of their getting infections. Uh, a need for extra amounts of B6 can cause ear infections. is is rather surprising to people to learn. Uh, one of the problems with people who don't get enough B6 is that their bodies retain fluid. That's one of the reasons uh, women take uh, uh, B6 as a treatment for PMS to get right. rid of excess excess bodily fluid. If the tissues surrounding the uh, the the uh, 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 t tunnels in the in the brain, which or in the, in the ear, you know, which which relieve the uh, fluid pressure. If the, if the tissue surrounding those mm -hmm. those tubes get uh, uh, get inf uh, in fact, inflated with too much yeah. water, uh, the uh, diameter of the tubes is reduced, and their fluid oh. is trapped inside the cavity. Right. which increases the likelihood of an infection. So the kid, if he gets enough of the B vitamins, including uh, uh, the B6, he has less likely to have that kind of a problem. Uh, Further... Uh, uh, doctor, uh, just let me just go back to the candida and the autistic children. Uh, because of this research and the studies and these parents, has anything been done with these children to help eliminate the candida? Well, there are a number of treatments that are, that are used. Uh, one is the drug nystatin, right. which is perhaps the only drug in the uh, PDR, the physician's right. desk reference, which is not toxic. Uh, uh, it kills uh, candida and other funguses, but does not harm humans. Okay, now when you've done this with these children that have this autism, has there been an, I mean, are these children fine now? Has it been no, a no, reversal? They're, 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 not, they're not fine. Uh, they are, they tend to be improved. Okay. Uh, the, the treatment consists of trying the nystatin on them. If, okay. They will initially get worse, by the way. Uh, if the nystatin or some other antifungal drug is, getting, is given to them, uh, for a few days, they, if they get worse, that's a pretty good sign that they were, in fact, a uh, trouble with the candida because the, the uh, drug kills the uh, organisms, right. and the dead organisms give off toxins, which makes the individual worse for a few days. That's called a Herxheimer reaction. Now, for a lot of people in this country, uh, hearing this information, and particularly people who know someone who has an autistic child, this is going to be somewhat of a revelation. Mm -hmm. If they want to get some information about this, with, with particular reference to autistic children in this, who, where do they go? Who do they contact? 
Well, uh, they could uh, write to our institute here in San Diego, and we have a list of uh, physicians, and we have publications okay. and so forth that will provide them for information. I don't want to leave the impression that by anywhere near a majority of autistic kids have problems right. caused by candida. It's, it's a minority. No, there's right. no question. There's I know, but having said that, and my point is having said that, there's somebody in this country uh, is going to call us and want to know. Right. So, if, so I thank you for your time and say to those of you out there in Canada, if you know someone and you're very interested in this, if you will contact us, we will give you this doctor's uh, address in San Diego and you can follow up on that on your own, okay? Thank you for joining us. You're very welcome. Okay. Just let me back up then and ask, uh, put this to you two. If children all, you know, so many children take antibiotics. What do you recommend if your child's had antibiotics? You can take the acidophilus. Yeah. Often, mm -hmm. antibiotics are necessary. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if balanced with the bacteria, which mm -hmm. the antibiotics kill off, mm -hmm. uh, which causes the, the imbalance in the first place, uh, the situation's fine. In Europe, it, when antibiotics are given, yogurt is advised at right. the same time. And often acidophilus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yogurt is a natural source of acidophilus. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay. However, as Carolyn mentioned, often um, allergies or sensitivities mm -hmm. to dairy are accompanied by candida, so mm -hmm. acidophilus is probably the safest way to go. Now, if you think you have this, the very important point, and Carolyn mentioned it before, and Jeff really wants to reiterate this fact, don't try to treat yourself. If you do want to give up sugar, though, and all of those things, that's, that's probably a really good idea, and you, should, you, you will feel better. Right. But the treatment of this is very important and needs to be done with a professional, a health professional, Jeff. I would suggest that strongly, mm -hmm. because it's more than just changing of diets. As we mentioned, the, the condition initiates in the intestinal tract. That's the original imbalance. So that has to be cared for uh, at the outset. And very often, constipation is one of the symptoms of candida. So good cleansing and detoxification of the digestive tract is essential, together with antifungals, which could be nystatin, as the doctor mentioned, or other natural antifungals. Okay. Garlic, for instance, is, is a natural antifungal. But there are others, such as caprylic acid and so on. Um, there are other immune enhances things to strengthen the immune system that are required because often okay. candida suppresses the immune system. So there is a need to strengthen the immune system with okay. other herbs, vitamins, etc. One of the things that uh, is linked together with uh, candida is PMS. Uh, I'm not sure that I understand the link, and I know you don't, so we'll explain it to you right after this, okay? We're back in a minute.